Hello YouTube, let's do a video. Let's see how many tanks we can get in today. Well this is uh, Mr and Mrs Wolf in my Dovi pair. Have you seen many, 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 many times before? So uh, I got most of the fry out if you watch one of my other vi recent videos. I've, there's about a dozen left. If you look at the top of uh, Wolfie's dorsal fin, can't see it because he won't keep still, but it's not as sharp and as crisp as it was. You can see the little white blobs on that. That's where the, the uh, fry was just feeding off his mucus and giving him a, a hard time off the mucus and his fins. So I've got most of them out, which was quite a task. There's about a dozen or so left in here. That's the big pot where they spawn. Next time they spawn, I'm going to get a scrubbing brush and scrub it all out. Or if they hatch, I'll uh, be siphoning them all out and get rid. What can you do with about 200 dovi fry? Anyway, let's have a look. See, there's still one or two dotted about in here. But it's putting right off his food. All he's bothered about is uh, protecting the babies. He's not interested in feeding. Hey, Wolfie, mate. Come on, Wolfie. Show us your teeth, boy. Let's have a look at you from, from the other end of the tank. I'll put you on pause for a sec. We'll go down the other end. Well, here we are at the other end. This tank's quite small, really. This It's only a seven-footer. But he's, uh, they seem to be happy for the time being. He's about, I think he's 20 inches. But he hasn't been out of the tank for a long time, so I don't exact, exactly know. Do a wolfy, mate. We love you, Wolfie. Everybody likes to see you. Come on, boy. Show us your teeth. I don't think he's got a lot of teeth left. He keeps uh, knocking them out, banging up the glass, protecting the ba the remaining babies. There's a few dotted about there. Anyway, we better move on because I've got to keep this uh, quite short and sweet. I'll be back. So here we are at uh, the Umbi tank. This is Crazy Joe. The, I've got three male umbies. This is the largest one of the three. The other two uh, is uh, offspring. I normally uh, grow them to a size where I can't cope and then uh, sell them on sort of thing. Anyway, I've changed the decor in here. I used to have a, a big chunk of wood in here so the female could get underneath and he couldn't get at her. But she's getting too big now. Uh, she, she could hardly fit under the piece of wood, so I've t I have to take the wood out. And then I put this uh, terracotta blooming pipe thing in a big plant pot at the end, so she can go straight through to the back. This is Crazy Joe. All right, Crazy Joe, mate. Shall we get some tucker? Let's go down to the end of the tank and see if we can get you some food. Right, here we are at the end of the tank. There's Crazy Joe. Let's give him some, uh, some something to eat. Or give him a muscle. All right, Joe, do you want this muscle? Do you want it, mate? I think he does. Come on up to the top. Don't bite me. There it goes. Down in one. He's getting really big. He's, he's uh, over 20 inches. I mean, this tank's a metric tank. It's 600 mil front to back. And he's, ne he's nearly spanning the full width of it. Embarrassment, really. I need... Uh, I need to upgrade my tanks. Did you like that, Joe, mate? You did, didn't you? Shall we get you another one? 
He's still chewing, I think. Little Miss Molly. You didn't get but get a bit, did you, love? You can see her retreat. That's where she goes with his problems in there and the plant pot at the end. So the tank's uh, six and a half feet long. It's got a four foot sump. Anyway, let's put another piece in. What should I put in? I'll put another piece of muscle in. We ain't got time to mess about like this too long though. Let's have a look. Come on. Do you want it? Out of focus. Do you want it, mate? That blooming great gob. It's like a vacuum cleaner. Last time I did this, people said, does she get any? She does when I've got time, but I can't film with one hand on the camera and one hand on my fish food. She'll get fed later. Anyway, that's crazy Joe. I normally have problems with the cats. If I feed crazy Joe uh, meaty fishy foods, I normally get plagued with cats. We have three cats in this house. I'll show you a couple of them because they're watching me. So normally these cats give me a hard time. There we go. Look. When I'm trying to give them, that's a prawn. When I'm trying to feed the fish prawn, the cat's following me around like, uh, I don't know what, like scavengers. Come on, Forrest. That's Forrest. Look at his dashers, his teeth. Can you see the teeth on that? He's a big old cat, he is. A Maine Coon cat. So the fight, the fight over the uh, prawns and mussels and treats when I'm trying to feed Crazy Joe. And this is Bentley. He's a, a British short hair. Ain't you, mate? Anyway, let's leave the cats alone. We'll better get on with the fish. We'll see you, Bentley, mate. Right, we're back here in front of uh, this tank. This is my embarrassment tank. I'm almost embarrassed to show this tank. This is my dumping tank. I have fry sometimes what I can't get rid of, so I chuck them in here, and then they grow out. I've said this before, but I'm going to have to have a good clear out. I think they're doing fairly well, like. We've got an Oscar. We've got uh, the carpenters, is with the tank, what I wanted it to be. And all the others are just uh, fry what I'm growing out, so, sort of thing. And I need to get rid of a load, because they're growing nicely. Let's, let's have a closer look. I'll probably chuck some pellets in here, and, and then we'll, we'll see who comes out. Right. There's the, uh, the Oscar. I mean, I used to have Oscars when I was a boy. That was a long time ago, I'll tell you now. In the 70s. They didn't have Oscars like that in the 70s. Is that what they call a Lutino? It's like an, it's like an Albino, but it's got, it's got red and it's got black on its fins. I don't really know a lot about Oscars. It's one of the first fish I kept when I was a boy. When I was a boy, all you could get was Oscars, Jack Dempsey's, Convicts, and that was about it, like. But now the, you can get loads of different fish. Anyway, there's one of the carpenters. We better have a, uh, get on a bit quick. The Oscars outgrowing the carpenters by leaps and bounds. There's another one. That's a nice one. There's five in here. There's another one. And what we got? What else we got? We got loads of tri little trimax. We got fest days. Anyway, I'm going to put an handful of food in with some plecos in here and all. That's a nice pleco. That's a, 
a leopard cactus. I've had him years. He, he's, I, think, I think he's the boss of the uh, tank at the bottom. Nobody messes with him. We'll put some pellets in and uh, see if the other plecos come out. I'll put you on pause while I get the pellets. Right, I'll put a handful of uh, food in there. They're all coming out now. We've got Festays, we've got Trimax, we've got uh, Carpenters, what people call Texas, but they're not Texas. We've got the Oscar. There's another Pleco. I'm not really uh, up on Plecos. I used to have loads of Plecos, but I sold them all because they, some of these big cichlids don't have to give them an hard time, so it's not fair on on them. And there's a couple, there's uh, three jags in here somewhere. I can see another Pleco. I've had him absolutely donkey's years. That's a, I know what that one, it's a golden nugget. And it's a, it's a big old golden nugget. I mean, they don't get very big, but as far as gold, and hey, there's another one just above it. You probably can't see it, but I can see it. That's a little pleco. I don't know what it's called. I think it's a 207 or something. Anyway, like you can say, I'm not, I'm not into the pleco. Well, I am into a lot of plecos. There's a, a young feste growing on. Try, Mark. Where's me jags? There's another pleco in there. Oh, no, that might be that other one what we see. Anyway, this is going on too long. Like I said, I've got to get through all these tanks. I've got 24 tanks. We're never going to get through them all. So now we're at the uh, Red Devil tank. This is one of my favourite tanks at the moment, to be honest. This is a uh, Botox the Maniac, my Red Devil. And uh, if you've watched my other videos, what I like about this tank is he lives in uh, harmony with a female dovi, which lives in that pipe. But she looks like she's not going to show her face. Anyway. Uh, as you might have noticed with a lot of my tanks, uh, I have these uh, river cobbles and this uh, quite large gravel. I'm not a big lover of uh, sand. Uh, I can uh, vacuum this gravel, suck with the vacuum pipe. There she is, she's getting her face stuck out there. Suck with the vacuum pipe like a bull in a china shop. None of it goes up the siphon tube. When you use sand... Uh, a lot of it goes up the siphoning tube and uh, sand compacts and you get dead spots in it and that. You never have that sort of problem with these uh, big substrates. Anyway, this is uh, Botox the Maniac. It's still a maniac, wants to bite me and that. The blinking cats are following me. They're like blinking sheep. There we've got one up top here. So he's, uh, the fish ain't frightened of them. Sometimes when things jump on top of your tank, it could frighten them. But uh, he's, used to, he's used to the cats. Anyway, we'll move on to another look at some more fish. So this is another male umbi, one that I've grown myself from uh, Crazy Joe. This is what I'm going to call... Uh, Wode Warrior. Wode, as being a blue dye, what ancient uh, warriors used to wear in battle. Have you seen the Braveheart movie? Mel Gibson, Braveheart, that's a, a Wode Warrior. Anyway, let's give him something to eat. We'll see if he will. Come on, come up here. There he goes, he had a prawn. So this is my wild warrior. He's in a small he's in a five foot tank and he's about uh about seven or eight inches, so I'll keep him as long as I possibly can. But I can't keep another umbi, I can hardly accommodate my big one. So I'll have to, I'll have to move him on, sell him or whatever. 
But it's nice just to grow the, to breed them and grow them on. And as you can see again, the big cobbles and the, the big gravel and these logs, they're, they're what I've uh, found when I go for a walk. These are just oak, oak tree branches. And strip the bark off them, let them dry out. So let's say goodbye to Woad, Woad Warrior. Bye bye, mate. We'll see you soon. Now we're at JCB's tank. You can't do a video without JCB, can you, eh? Everybody loves him. So uh, if anybody watches my channel, this I'm into, trying to introduce him to a new female. And I'll show you uh, her ex-husband when I go down to just show you my little fish room. So uh, I've got them divided. They've been divided for quite a while since I first in, put them together. Once I get used to each other, I'll be taking the divider out. But in the meantime, it's been like this quite a few weeks now. They seem to be, uh, well, they're not, they don't seem to be fighting through the divider. Let's, uh, let's uh, give them something to eat. All right, JCB. I'm going to grab something. What, well, we've got a chunk of muscle. Hey, all right, mate. There he goes. He's a greedy gut. Always, I always say this though, but look at the size of the gob. It's got a massive gob. Like a predator fish. Even though uh, people say they're not. But look at the size of his gob. It's like a dove-eyes gob. I'm going to put another chunk of muscle in. There you go, mate. Do you want that? You love it, don't you? Do you want a piece of muscle? A bit of muscle. There he goes. I don't feed him on muscles. This is only a treat because I'm doing this video. I normally just feed him pellets. You, you're best doing pellets. At least when you do pellets, you get all the vitamins and min minerals, what they need. We'll give the female some. I'm not going to speed this up. All right, love. I didn't quite catch it, like. Well, she got one bit, but the other bit went through the divider. I'll give her one more. I've got to get uh, wrap this up. I'm going to on too long. There we go. There she goes. She's got it all. Anyway. When I take the divider down, I'll uh, I'll take a video and show where it goes. I'm quite confident with them. We'll move on and have a look at uh, we'll have a look at the bean eye. So this is Bomb of the Bean Eye. He's uh, a Rio Panacu bean eye, and he's about he's about nine inches long. He's doing fairly well. Lives here all on, on his own, he has done. But let's give him something to, to eat. I'll come round the end of the tank. I'm trying to do with one, this one-handed thing. Not very good at this. There you go, mate. You know you want it. Look at his eye, look at his following me hand. In the top. There he goes. A piece of mussel. This is another fish. What uh, people say, don't give them the meaty proteins and that. The same as the Haitiensis, because they'll bloat and that. But when they get to adults, you uh, that you can give them. You can give them it without no problems. Same with water temperature. You got to keep your Haitiensis warm when they fry, but after when they're adults, it doesn't really matter. In my opinion, that is anyway. Anyway, I'll see if I can get another piece of food. One-handed. There we go, mate. Do you want it, Bomber? Bomber the bean eye. Look at him, look. You know you want it. You know you want it. Come on, in the top, in the top, in the top, in the top. He's never bitten me yet. 
but he can get quite aggressive up against the tank. Anyway, let's look at something else, see what we can do now. Well, this is Tank My Chancho. He lives on his own. I uh, sold his female long, 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 many moons ago. I sometimes think maybe I shouldn't have done, but he was uh, very hard on his female. So he's doing great. He's growing nicely. Oh, look at him! Look, let's 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 clean your glass, mate. Oi, calm down, calm down, boy. We're only doing a bit of uh, trying to make your tank look nice and clean. Anyway, well, uh, I'll move on now. I'll take you for a sneaky peek, a sneaky peeky, at my little fish room down the bottom of the garden. So say goodbye to Tank. He's, uh, we call him Tank because he's built like a, a tank. Or in the UK, you'll say he's built like a, a brick shit house. So we'll uh, go down the garden and we'll uh, show you what's going on down there. Right, we'll go down the bottom of the garden and have a sneaky peek. In my fish room. The fish room was built on a budget, so I'll show you. First of all, that's where the cats spend uh, most of the time, in the daytime. They're not in there now. Well, that's the uh, Mrs. Hobby, cat, cats. And my other hobby is motorcycling. But we're not looking at motorcycles today, we're looking at the fish. Well, before we go in, we'll just have a look round here. This is where all my junk is kept. Rocks for the tanks, uh, bog wood, twigs, all spawning pots. And this is where I cultivate my earthworms. I'll show you inside. I'll attempt to show you inside. So this, this is just a, a dustbin, or a garbage can as you'll call it in the States. And I put a uh, kitchen waste and that in here. There they all are. All the worms, which I cultivate for the, uh, to feed the fish on. Anyway, we'll go inside the fish room. Just put, I'll just put you on pause while I put the lid back on. Well, I've got the lid on. So let's go and have a look in the fish room. So this was uh, built on a budget. All it is is a garden shed, fully insulated. Let's get in there, it's nice and warm in here. There we go. Here we go, let's get in. God, it's warm in here, my glasses are steaming up. Right, as I've just said, this is uh, built on a budget. So we're all at, it's uh, got four inches of polystyrene on the ceilings, on the walls, on the floor. And then I've got me uh, a 38 watt air pump with the air pump line going up to a uh, closed loop system. Inch and a half pipe all the way around the whole fish room. And then we've got all these uh, taps drilled into for the air lines. The whole lot is run on sponge filters. As you can see, I do love a sponge filters, highly underrated, very efficient filters, uh, you know, good for fish rooms. And then as for heating, we'll turn round. The whole of the uh, fish room is heated by this uh, one 500 watt elect plug-in electric heater. So I've got a 500 watt heater and a 38 watt air pump. Running, uh, let's think, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 aquariums. So we'll, uh, I'll attempt to, sh I'll, I'm, I'm not going to, I'll attempt to show you some fish, but I can't film in here. So we've got here a stack, it's uh, four foot by 18s, two on the top, another two down, and on the floor another two. So we've got six of those. We've got a 180 here, with Feste in it. This one's a little bit, little bit smaller than uh, 180, but not a lot. And then uh, at the end, we just got a stack of fry tanks. Here we have some more. But this is a three-foot tank. And there we have another little tank with some uh, jags in it. Up here, 
another small tank there was a nice little carpenter's on growing out on his own trying to get him thin perfect so let's have a look at some fish if we can so this is uh, Jim that's Jim the uh, 12 inch male red terror there's his, there's his missus Rosie all right Rosie love that's Rosie Rosie Jim now down here we've got a pair of uh, we've got a pair of another umbes. So uh, there's one of them. Where's the other? And in with them, little Morris. Little Morris is a mide ass what I've had for quite a while. He's been with me a long time. Come on, Morris, we can't see you behind right there. But he's boss of the tank because he's a lot chunkier and heavier build than the umbes. Where's the other umbe? Oh, they're in there, both of them. They'll probably be spawning. They've spawned a couple of times. But there's plenty of rocks and hiding spots and that in here, so they can keep out the way of Mo Morris and turn around. I've got to cut this off. I, I hate doing it. That's a... Uh, a bean eye is a nice size, probably eight inches, maybe nine. All right, mate. Oh, he's flaring his gills at us. Come on, he's gonna be all right there because there's some more tanks here. Another tank up there, another one there, another one there. I've got the parrot fish here, what was in the house, but I still can't quite quite make my mind up whether I like them or not. I don't know whether it's an impulse mistake by, but we'll uh, see how we go with them. And then these little guys, we've got, there's about 16 to 18 ATNCs in here. They're doing really well, they're growing lovely. And uh, they've even started pairing off. So this little guy, you see, he's got a hump coming on his head. He's a dominant male, and he's uh, chew, he uh, pairs off with, uh, when they're all fed, they're all looking at, they're all active because they're uh, hungry. But when they're all fed, he'll uh, pairs off with one. Possibly, that one's looking black. Anyway, so there we have a tank full of Haitiensis. We'll go up here. Another Haitiensis. This one's getting quite big. Uh, the female in, up in the house, this was paired with this one. But I've just I decided to take him away because they're uh, actually brother and sister. So I took the female away from this one and uh, trying to pair it with JCB in the house. But I've gave him this little female. They seem to be getting on all right. There's a pile of rocks in there where she darts when he's uh, had enough of her. But uh, there he is. He's probably getting a bit too big for this tank actually. So I'll have to. Uh, Sort some out or sell it. We'll just move across here. What we got? That's a sin spill. I'm growing on. That's a blinking dove. What was meant to be a feeder. What's escaped? Another little try, Mac from uh, uh, Big Mac. That's one of his young ones. What's growing nicely? Let's go down. Another. Try Mac, which I'm growing on, he's coming out nice, got some nice colours coming. Another try Mac. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. Gonna wrap it up because uh, you can't really see a lot in here. So uh thank you for subscribers. I hope it's uh, been okay and not too boring adding this bit on the end of my fish room. So uh, thank you for all subscribers, hope you enjoyed, thank you till next time.